best part of studying here have been the people I've met, have been the opportunities that we've had. GPS is multidisciplinary. What multidisciplinary means is that we have people with different disciplinary backgrounds, from ethnology to political science, from history to gender studies. Before, when I did documentary film, I always, you know, I want to hear stories and different stories from people and portraits of people. But um, here I got introduced um, to body politics and reproductive rights and sexual rights and I've been basically writing about that mm -hmm. these years. One of the biggest thing I love about being here is obviously I'm a mature age student. I go to, to uni with people in their late teens, early 20s and I see so many amazing inquiring minds here that I feel really hopeful for the future. If you're interested in, in migration, for example, you get many different perspectives because we are, I mean, we are economists, we are sociologists, ethnologists, and so we, we teach that and that gives you this many, many perspectives on, on the field that you're interested in. My dream job right now would be a decision maker at the migration board and to work with both the refugees and resettlement. Being in Malmo at kind of an epicenter of a, of a place in Europe that has had such an interesting um, past few years, especially since the refugee crisis, I feel that you can sort of get involved and, and help to try and make a difference. I think somewhere my dream job, but it feels so distant, but it would be to combine you know, my journalism skills and documentary knowledge with, with this. That's the nature of, of, of social science also, I think. If you're interested in how society works and then you learn more and then you all of a sudden want to be a part of the change as well. had someone come into our classroom the other day and we were introducing ourselves and I think there was like 15 of us and we were all from a different country and I just loved that. Everybody has so different kind of work culture and work methods when they come from different parts of the world so in the GPS I see as a great fusion of all different kinds of working styles and methods. It can lead to really interesting discussion in the classroom. It, it can also be really challenging as a teacher. Sometimes when you have your lecture, you have to, I mean, try to attack the things that you're speaking about from very different perspectives, not just one perspective, which makes it challenging, but also very fun. We are very diverse, uh, not only in the sense of diverse disciplinary backgrounds, but we are also diverse when it comes to our national backgrounds, linguistic backgrounds, etc., etc., And that really contributes to complicating perspectives, to adding understanding, to questioning. It creates, of course, problems in the sense that people have to start to adapt to each other and talk with each other, and that is not easy. But on the other hand, that's a rather good training for working in an international uh, in the future. Malmö is an excellent town for students. It's so diverse and uh, I love it. I have lived in Malmö for four years okay. and I think it's the best thing I've ever done. It's a fantastic cosmopolitan dynamic city. Um, there's so much to see and do. I come from Australia, so I've lived in Sydney, I've lived in Hong Kong, Beijing, London. People told me that I'd be bored coming to a small town like Malmo, but I find there's something to do all the time. Our students are living as generalists, we say, but they are generalists with a really good like, capacity to understand and, and ask important questions. We prepare students for, for being on the international arena. 